You probably didn't know that you need more emojis in your Foundry Virtual Tabletop game. I didn't either, but we do. We need more emojis in our games. And today we're going to be looking at an add-on that lets you do just that, putting emojis in your chat log. What's up gamers? I'm Josh, this is Copper Dragon Games, and on this channel we talk about Dungeons & Dragons mostly virtual tabletop resources. Today we're taking a quick look at an add-on that I didn't know I needed in my life. And yet, now that it's been pointed out to me, I think it's definitely worth giving a shot, and who knows, your players may love it. Let's check it out. Okay, so this module is called Chat Reactions. This is not the kind of module that's going to change your automation or change the way players see the game or change the way players interact with the game, at least not your system, but it does change the way your players and you are able to communicate with one another, turning your chat log into much more like the format of what we see in text messaging apps, for example. And while it's not the kind of add-on that's going to make or break your game, it is the kind of add-on that just adds a touch of flavor to the way you communicate with one another at the table or the virtual table. So let me give you a quick run through of what that looks like. I've just enabled the add-on and I'm gonna flip back over to the chat log and this is my test server so there's really nothing going on in this game. But when you add this add-on to your game, it adds this little plus button to the text box where you can add things to the chat log. Click on it and you get just like you would on your cell phone app, a long list or, or collection of emojis and other little emoji-like graphics that you can add to your posts. I don't really have a lot to say here, but it's kind of cool just looking at all the options. I mean... There's everything from the typical emojis, smiley faces and such that we saw at the beginning, all the way down to like some dragons, a uh, spider. I think when I looked earlier, there are a bunch of uh, country flags down here somewhere. Um, lots of different things that you can add into your chat messages to spice things up. Oh, look, a castle. Um, is there a dungeon in here? That would be kind of on theme. Anyway, uh, I, I like the idea of this app. I don't know how much my players will actually use it in-game, um, but just having the opportunity to do it is really nice. I do want to point out, um, when I was playing around with it earlier, I was adding emojis and stuff, and every time I added one, no matter how far down I was, it always went back to the top of the screen, and I was like, ah, oh, what if I want to do the same one more than once? Well, if you scroll up a little bit, uh, you get a list of the ones that you have used recently. So that's that's pretty convenient. In any case, uh, you get the opportunity to throw these uh, emojis into your chats as you add them. And also, let's pull up this bandit captain and have him say, uh, roll an athletics check. Let's say he was uh, trying to grapple you. We'll roll with advantage. He'll get a 12. Say you had some dumb luck and you rolled a four and you are now grappled by this bandit captain and your player character can't go anywhere. You could click on this little emoji thing and then not drooling face. What do I want? I want a crying face because, yeah, because I'm crying now because my PC is grappled. Anyway, um, lots of different ways that you can add emojis to your communication through the chat log with this add-on. You get to add all the different nuance to uh, these posts in the chat log that you would be able to do with your, your text on a cell phone, for example. And you might be thinking, these are the same reactions that I would express vocally. A lot of times we use emojis to express emotion that we can't express through our voice because we are using a text messaging app. But this might be perfect for the kind of situation where maybe something bad or something great uh, or something hilarious just happened in the game and another player is in the middle of a monologue or maybe the DM is really deep in the description of their scene and you want to show a reaction without interrupting the flow vocally. This is a perfect opportunity to do that and make your feelings known and make your reaction known uh, without 
actually interrupting the flow of the game. So yeah, like I said, this is uh, one of those add-ons that I didn't know that I needed, but now that I know it's a possibility, um, yeah, I think I'm going to leave this one included in all my games from this point on. That's it for today. Like I said, this is a quick video just checking out this one add-on, but I do think it's one that's worth your time, so go check it out.